What's going on, my brodies? It is Andrew with Beta AT Production and Publishing, bringing you guys a brand new YouTube video. Um, I for those of you that did peep the live stream, I do live streams uh, pretty much every week. Uh, it's off and on on what days? Sometimes it's uh, Wednesdays, sometimes it's Tuesday, Sunday. It's different. I usually send out an email to everyone letting them know about the live stream. Also, if you have the push bell notification button enabled down there, you should be notified whenever we go live. Well, I made this beat live, uh, and this beat is using a sample from our latest AT Baby to Baby 3 sample pack. Uh, for those of you uh, that have copped our little baby style or a little baby inspired sample packs we have re recently released a brand new one the brand new one being the at baby to baby 3 now in there it has 20 new original melody compositions including the midi and stems so this is one of them it's called never broke it is i believe d uh, sharp minor 144 bpm and uh it only has three melody compositions as a baseline piano and strings. And I whipped this beat up pretty quick in the live stream. I think it was like a 20 minute process total. Um, I had a video chopped down of the actual uh, beat making process. The problem was that the live stream videos tend to be choppy. So hopefully this is much smoother and better. So I'm gonna go ahead and play up to here, the chorus. So how it goes is intro, chorus, verse, bridge chorus. So that's the beat. As you could see, we have we start out with all the elements, the bass line, piano, and strings. Then we get rid of the bass line because we don't want to have the bass line, 808s, and kicks competing. The reason why they'll be competing is they're both filling in that uh, bass uh, frequency range. So obviously, we pulled in the 808 then with the kicks on the chorus. As you can see, uh, we only introduce the kicks only in the chorus they're not in the verse if you guys are confused on how i'm looking at this beat i'll go ahead and label it chorus is also the hook it's where we're gonna have the where the artist will have the main um idea of the song you know repeating so let's go through i'll play the bass line first and you guys will get all these melody stems uh they're all labeled they're all have their uh, keys and MIDI so if you do want to you know recreate or not use the exact sounds like let's say you're like well I didn't like the piano that you used or maybe I don't know maybe you didn't like the piano and so you wanted to use a different one you can grab the MIDI so here's the bass line I didn't even do anything special to it honestly if we wanted to we could probably add uh, Oh, of course, when a black box, black box is a really nice. Uh, let me. Uh, there you go. So now, if we play that, and the strings.
Just uh, we'll at least see a character master on her, just to add a little bit of without it. It adds just a hair bit of warmth and drive. Nothing crazy. I wasn't wanting to do a whole lot. Um, strings. Just a little bit of fab. Add that low. Because I wanted to have that, uh, not mud, but a little bit of uh, depth, I guess you would say. Uh, just it, I don't want it to be too hollow. Sometimes when you cut out too much of the hot, uh, cut out too much of the lows, it makes the actual melody hollow, or like just not have life. So in my, I'll I'll pull up the drums channel, so you guys can just see. It's a uh, pitch. If you guys want to know the drums I'm using, I highly recommend, like highly, highly, highly recommend checking out Enviral's sample kits over at beatat.com. Enviral makes some incredible uh, sounding drums. He like processes them and does certain compression and EQ tricks that gets a level of clarity out of the drum samples that I really do enjoy. I enjoy them so much that I've been using majority of Enviral's drum kits over even some of Beta AT's drum kits. Um, I love our drums, drum samples as well, but the way he's getting the clarity out of it, it sounds great. So I'm using the uh, Tetralicatus drum kit. I cannot say that name. Tetracalitus. I I know I'm butchering it. It's awful, but uh, yeah, great. Everything just like cuts through. I love the claps. I love the hi hats. I love his percussions and rims. I remember telling him like, "Yo, I just need more." So if you do make them, I, I definitely would love them. So yeah, he made a whole bunch of them. So I'm literally using that drum kit for all the drums on here. And then, uh, except the 808, the 808 from the AT Sound Kit 6, I believe. And uh, I'll play the 808 in a second. I'll just play the drums one more time. So now if we want to look at that 808. So I copied the MIDI from the bass line. This is from the bass line. And I just mimicked the notes uh, signatures or like the note uh, keys for the 808s. If you want to hear the 808 without this stuff, here it is. Now with the 808, now the 808, now the 808 with all the plugins, this is what it sounds like. Without. Our bass does a whole lot. You got to be careful with our bass because sometimes it can really just do too much to the 808. Um, I learned the our bass plugin from a engineer at a studio session out in St. Louis. He told me about it and he's like, oh, I always add it into like the 808 or bass uh, tracks of any rap beat. I'm like, oh, I've never heard about this plugin. I have waves. So pretty much, I don't do it for every 808, but for a lot of them, I'll use our bass. It just adds more of a harmonic uh, top end to the 808. So it makes it a little bit more uh, audible. So it's doing like compression harmonic distortion in a sense. I'm sure someone uh, who's someone might have more of a technical explanation, but that was the best understanding that I've got about the plugin. Here's my kicks. Um, like I said, the kicks are only in the chorus. Super, I, I love having my uh, kicks like almost clicky and distorted punch. It's personally my favorite sound. It doesn't work for everything, but I felt like it worked for this. It also makes it easy to hear it over the 808. 
And so when you match it together, then we, we simplify the drum pattern a little bit. And then we just reintroduce those elements and then yeah so i mean that's pretty much the beat honestly it wasn't really a complex it's nothing too crazy at that point it's just structuring um so i'll pull up my master or my mix bus just in case if there's any other elements that we haven't discussed real quick so i guess we went through everything i do some stereo stuff so like my kicks are gonna be mono I like to have my collapse mono. Some stuff I might stereoize. So like here, I did that to the strings a little bit because I wanted to tuck them back and kind of like encompass like the fullness, but like back here, then have like the piano like here, bass line somewhere like in here. So it's like if it's like a whole circle, that's kind of like how we're thinking about it. Strings are back over here, piano's here, bass line here, 808's here, kick is here. And then like the vocals like in the middle somewhere that probably sounded insane to anyone that doesn't under know a lot about mixing but or doesn't see mixing or hear mixing in a 3d sphere but that's how i think about it um and tony and tony and i've talked about that a lot tony's kind of talked about the concept of like a sphere where you mix within that sphere um so in my master i have a sound goodizer i have golf golf Hoss. golf Hoss is a uh real-time dynamic eq that's pretty much based on ai <laughs> It just does a little bit, but that little bit it does is a world of difference. In my opinion, I can hear it just brings out a little bit of clarity, but it doesn't muddy or make the elements too competitive. And then after that, we have Limitless. Once I've discovered Limitless, I've never went back to Ozone. Um, it's great. It's great. I will use Ozone Vintage Limiter or like the maximizer occasionally. But ozone gets, ozone has this type of compression that as I've listened to it more and more, I've hated it. And every time I hear a beat that uses ozone, I'm not able to tell exactly, but I can kind of tell. It makes it, the mix sound rubbery. Limit, limitless doesn't necessarily do that because it's kind of like Gulfos while also doing ozone. So if I play it, it's like dynamically changing the EQs while also I can limit this or compress it really. No, you know what I mean. On top of that, I can adjust. Uh, on top of that in Limitless, I can adjust the clipping, the dither, like I could do a whole bunch. I don't do this for the beats, but if I'm doing like an actual mix and master <clears throat> for an artist or I'm working, yeah, then I'm, I might be tweaking those settings depending on the sound. So yeah, I mean, that was breaking down this little baby type beat. I know I'd probably drawn this video out longer than it needed to be, but you know, I don't know some people that are watching these videos are newer to the beat making process. Some of you guys are just wanting to hear the beat that was made. See if you like it, see if there's some samples or tricks you might've learned. So no, no, no crazy tricks in this uh, beat. Really, what's, uh, what I'm really showing off is how fire this uh, sample is from the sample pack. I love this sample. It's one of my favorites uh, from the AT Baby to Baby kit. And I would really be curious how other people could flip this uh, sample because I really do think, uh, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Lil Baby even rapped on like this sample 
like if someone made like the beat perfect and had the contact and the relationship with baby to then get this over to him or 42 Doug or whoever in that camp, man, I, I definitely think a hit would come from it. Uh, real quick, just because we are at the end, uh, I would love to go through just a couple of the samples that are in this sample kit. So if you guys are still in this, uh, still watching in this video, then that's great. A matter of fact, I'll even put a coupon code on top of the video right here. And, you know, if you made it this far and you do want something from the website that is a paid sample kit, then go ahead and treat yourself with this coupon code. So inside the AT Baby to Baby 3 sample pack, we have, like I said, 20 different individual uh, melody kits. I'll just play a couple of them. As you can see, you get all the stems and then you get the MIDI. We're giving you everything, everything to be successful and learn from us and learn the tricks and how to recreate these type of melodies and breaking them down. This is Never Broke, the one that we use. I don't like that one personally. I'm sure someone would use it though. Push the stars pretty far. Oh, reloaded would be fire. This Saints. Area codes definitely would be like a little baby sample kit. That's kind of like the bigger, it kind of reminds me of bigger picture, I think. But as you could see, there is a, almost every, I would say actually every single one of those could be a little baby type beat or poo shy, maybe poo shysty, maybe 42 Doug, you know. So if you made it this far, I appreciate you. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, felt like you learned something or you enjoyed the sample or beat, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. All of that really does help the channel and help us grow and help us, you know, get seen in the YouTube algorithm. As you can see, we have a lot of subscribers, uh, but we don't have a lot of people that stick around and watch the future videos. So if you enjoyed this and you want to see future videos, click that push bell notification push bell notification button so you'll be informed about future videos. This is Andrew, BDAT, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.